pure military strategy, by the book and the historical move. That is how one can occupy a territory without allowing anyone to sanction or accuse them. Putin checkmates NATO. Military strategy. Putin versus NATO. Checkmate. Let's look at the situation unfolding in the last months near Russia's borders. Military strategy of the highest quality on Russia's behalf. Putin orders the massing of units in multiple places near the Ukrainian border and thus ensures the attention of the NATO aerial spying units. How? Amass troops in a certain area. Why? Divert attention from your true goals. Which goals? Well, let's see. What does Putin do since the massing of troops? He waits for something that doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. The international community gets heated the second the military satellite images become public, which show the Russian troops that are on standby. NATO comes up with strategies, warns Russia with more or less threatening sanctions, warning that in no way should they dare to invade Ukraine's territory yet again. Time keeps passing, but Putin, in complete secret, devises another plan entirely. A strategic military plan to increase the economic, politic and military influence of Russia in the Central Asian in the context of the economic energetic developments. And thus, using secret services and individual contractors, it controls and organizes the events in Kazakhstan while NATO's eyes are fixed on Ukraine's borders. A shock on the geopolitical plan of the world in January 2022, out of nowhere in Kazakhstan, riots break out seemingly due to gas prices. One or two days pass of international internal strife, in the end being solicited the aid of the country's members of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. And so, Putin orders the mobilization of armed forces in order to support the CSTO regarding the intervention of multiple countries such as Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, mobilizing military planes, equipment and personnel. In less than two days, Russian military personnel lands in Kazakhstan in all strategic locations of the country, ensuring order. So, in conclusion, while NATO is watching the troops at the border of Ukraine, Russia installs itself with ease in Kazakhstan. Without being accused of invading another country or disregarding international treaties, thus obtaining simply and efficiently the complete control of the natural resources, but also the consolidating of its control over the Baikonur Cosmodrome, the oldest and biggest one in the world, situated in Kazakhstan at 200 kilometers from the Aral Sea next to the city of Tuyaratam. Pure military strategy, by the book and the historical move, that is how one can occupy a territory without allowing anyone to sanction or accuse them. Putin checkmates NATO.